So I'm using today number 10 pearl cotton in blue. And I've taken and I've measured and gotten an approximation of two times around the distance of my rectangle. And then I folded it in half. And that has created a little loop for me. I also have a needle with thread. And it is tied in a knot so that I have a free end and a knotted end on the thread. And so I insert the needle from the back of the cloth all the way through the cloth to the front along one of the lines. And I'm starting in the center of the line because it's a little bulky when you end up at the very end and I want room to have that bulk um, away from the corner. Once I have the thread through the pattern, I'm going to put the loop on that thread. And then I'm going to go back down through the entire pattern and cloth in a very close stitch to the original thread that came through. I want very small stitches. So now I've anchored that loop and I'm going to move it now out of the way and come up again from the back side of the cloth all the way through the paper pattern on the line. And this is a little tricky and sometimes you have to poke numerous holes to find that line. It does get easier after you've gotten started. Come up through from the back, pull the thread through. Now lay your cordonnet threads, your actual needle lace threads, up out of the way so that you can see and go back down almost through the same hole that you came through and go all the way through the cloth to the back side. And now as you can see, hopefully, um, I have made a stitch across the two threads. I'm going to then come back through again on the line and repeat this process, placing stitches every quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, depending um, on how tightly you're stitching down. But you do need to make this pretty sti tightly stitched so that the thread does not move when you add the additional stitches to make the lace. And you can now move the thread out of your way to see what you're doing and stitch only from the top side and take small running stitches catching that thread as you go. We're going to go all the way around the outline of the pattern in this manner.